Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome. Talofalava and Malolele to my local family here in uh, Salt Lake City. Thank you all for being here today. I'm Troy Polamalu, Head of Player Relations um, for the Alliance. I'm very excited to announce Salt Lake City as uh, our next partner city. Um, uh, and as of now, I would like to introduce J.K. McKay, 1973 Rose Bowl MVP and Head of Player Operations. <laughs> Thanks, Troy. I, I made him say that. It was 1975, though, just for the record. Yeah. Um, thank you very much. We are really excited about Alliance Salt Lake. I know firsthand from being in this stadium what an amazing place this is and how passionate the fans can be here, having traveled here a couple times with, with USC when I was there. And, and it, it's, it's a fantastic city. It's a fantastic stadium. It's absolutely perfect for what we're doing. So we're really, really excited to be here. Before I move forward, I'd like to introduce someone from the university, Vice President of Administ Administrative Services, John Nixon. Thank you, JK. Welcome to Salt Lake City and welcome to the University of Utah. We are happy to be the host venue for Alliance Salt Lake. Uh, we know that Utah is a great place for football, a great city for football, and we believe that our stadium is one of the most beautiful places in the country to watch a football game. Our modern stadium, new scoreboard, almost 8,000 square feet of video wall out there has greatly enhanced the football experience. And our top-notch team here at Ricicle Stadium is prepared and will do whatever it needs to do in partnership with the Alliance to make sure that this uh, the fan experience is second to none. We are thrilled that Utahns now will have the opportunity to watch football in the spring and to have their team here to cheer for. We know that the creation of this league and the hosting the team here at Rice-Eccles Stadium here in our great city will have a positive impact not only on our university but on the community and as our state as a whole. I want to thank Charlie, Bill, Tom, J.K., and Troy for selecting us as the host venue. And we look forward to uh, be, being your partner as we move forward. And we're excited to have some great football to watch this spring. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, John. Uh, Bill Polian and I are charged uh, with uh, the help of a lot of others, with putting together eight football organizations across this country in some great cities, including this one. Um, we knew from the outset that there's two things we had to get right. We had to get the cities right, and I think we have, and we'll be announcing the remainder of our cities over the next couple of weeks, but we're really pleased with where we are in that regard. We also knew we had to get the head coaches right, because I think success in an organization like this starts at the top. And I'll tell you, in, in selecting a head coach for Alliance Salt Lake, it actually was pretty easy. There was a, a choice that was just almost too obvious. It was, it was too perfect a, a fit. Um, uh, this coach, as a college coach, won two national championships. He was the 2000 National Coach of the Year in college football. He was, this is an amazing stat, he was a three-time Pac-10 Coach of the Year at three different schools. He's literally one of the greatest college football coach, uh, coaches of our time. Uh, he also spent time in the NFL and has that experience. I am really, really pleased to introduce the first uh, head coach of Alliance Salt Lake, Dennis Erickson. I didn't stay retired very long, I can tell you that. I think, I, I think I've retired about three different times. And, and, uh, but it's an honor to be involved with the Alliance uh, uh, Football League. I think it's what it's all about for me and all the years that I've coached. It's about, it's about the players and the fans. That's what it's all about. And uh, the reason that I missed it was because of the players and being around them to keep you young. And so I'm really, really excited about, about that part of it. Really excited about being here in Salt Lake City. I mean, the four years that I was here working for Coach Whittingham was <clears throat> four great years for me, and I really, really love this community. Great football community. And I know it'll be very, very, this, this league will be very successful here. And, and uh, you know, I think about being out in that stadium and <clears throat> seeing those fans. I mean, there, there's no place better venue than, than this football stadium. 
And so it's exciting that we'll have that. Uh, they'll talk to you a little bit more about some of the things that uh, uh, need to be done as far as getting players. Hopefully we'll have some ex-youth plan, you know, some players from BYU, who knows what's going to happen. But again, it's, it's an honor for me. This, there's been a lot of leagues that have tried to do this, but the people that are running this league and the, the way that it's organized is going to be very, very special. And they'll talk about that more. But uh, to me, it's about uh, getting back coaching. Like I said, I'm not very good at retirement, and I, I'm really not. And I was in the NFL a couple of times. One of my things that I really did well in the NFL is I brought in instant replay. I was coaching at Seattle. We were playing the Jets back to, to get into the playoffs, and Benny Testaverde was their quarterback. <clears throat> they ran a quarterback sneak, and he was a yard short. We win the game. Well, his helmet comes off. They think it's a ball. They give it a touchdown and we lose a game. I'm not at Seattle the next year. And uh, so and that's the biggest impact I've ever had in the NFL. But I'm, I'm looking forward to, to being around the people and the fans here and, and really looking forward to starting this in February. And, and uh, I think we have a great advantage here as far as weather is concerned and uh, altitude. And those guys from Orlando are going to come up, come up here in February. I think that's going to be real interesting. So, And the other thing. And one of the most important things is winning. We want to win football games. We're not here. This isn't retirement. This is winning football games and developing a, an organization here in Salt Lake to, to be successful for all the fans. And the players are going to get – there are a lot of good football players out there that don't make it in the NFL. They're right on the <clears> – <throat> uh, very close to making it. We'll give them another chance. And that's what it's all about, giving them another chance, giving them a chance to play, give them a chance to get education. That's what that's what the game's all about. So it's great to be here. I don't know if my old apartment's still available down at Sugar House, but I'll go by and see. And uh, so really looking forward. And then we're going to have a lot of fun with this league. And like I said, this is a great town to, to be involved in. So thanks a lot. It's good to be back. Like all coaches, he just can't let it go, can he? He can't let that play go. He still remembers that call. Um, and also, I have it on good authority that um, Coach's wife is the one that wanted him to take this job. She could not stand having him at home anymore. Um, but we're, we're just thrilled to have him. Uh, he, he's a, a legendary coach, and we're, we're, we think he's going to be a really important part. This is the perfect place for him, and I think this is the perfect place for us. With that, that's all we have. We'll be doing some. I think Tyler is going to give you some instructions on what, what, what we might do uh, in terms of interviews with Coach uh, afterwards. Is Tyler? There he is.